Yeah, I'm Claire Jones um, and I am currently going into our third year in dairy farming. Well, the reason I came involved in farming to start off with was because I married into farming through my husband and um, we initially met through primary school, secondary school and then we met through the Young Farmers Club and um, we've been together pretty much ever since and the rest is history. So um, yeah, we took over the family business um, from his parents about 14 years ago. It was initially a sheep and beef um, farm and then during Covid and lockdown we decided to completely change the farm and the setup and become a dairy farm. We are a low input grass base system on a spring carving block so we are going to be carving from end of January for about seven eight weeks. Um, the herd is quite a small herd so we're only 145 cows. Um, we don't want to go too much um, in numbers because it is just me and my husband Stephen in the business um, we are looking at prob possibly expanding but it all depends on staff and if we can get people involved. Um, the fact that you know there's conversations like this are happening shows that there is an issue particularly might not I might not have first-hand experience with it um, but I would say is to treat everybody as equally as possible um, and to give women the fair chances just as much as everybody else. Okay, so <laughs> day on the farm. When we're milking, um, the day starts at quarter to five in the morning, um, getting up nice and early to get the cows in for milking. And then we probably spend about an hour and a half milking back into the house, get the kids out of bed, get them ready for school, get them gone to school, get them back out here. I'm in the office doing paperwork, um, feeding calves. Um, yeah, a lot going on. And then later on in the day, back for milking again, because we only milk twice a day. Um, milking starts in the afternoon at quarter past, half past three, and then we're done by 5 p.m. and then it's supper time. I got Mambo, but I can't find her. She's here somewhere. I can promise you she will be here. Yes, Mambo's my favourite cow, but she is the biggest pain out of the entire herd because she comes in last, so you know you've got everybody when she comes in. The tractors, the big ones, the bobcats, the diggers. I can drive a digger. Um, I have to be able to drive everything, apparently. <laughs> so I've had no, not much choice but to drive everything. I feel absolutely honoured and privileged to have been asked to be part of the campaign and I'm more than happy to help share awareness. Women in agriculture um, are just as important as men. Um, we're equally important to be part of the team. Um, whether you're physically hands on the farm like I am or not, we're still part of the team that makes it a successful industry to be in. So the main issue I would love to see resolved within agriculture is the TB. I think it's over the past 20 odd years it's just getting worse. Um, it needs changing um, and sadly it affects a lot of farms in the area. The main message I would say is know where your food comes from. Knowing that it doesn't just come from a supermarket and that it actually comes from a farm. I think people have lost a bit of touch on where their food comes from but it just needs re-messaging that that's where it is and yeah.